Okay, it is now 9 o'clock and it's time to begin the meeting. First order is roll call. Can we have roll call, please? Pardon? Are we going to do the oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I, uh, call, call the meeting the order. I'm sorry. The first order of business is the Pledge of Allegiance. All rise, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, now, we have roll call, please. Commissioner Kena. Yes. yes. Commissioner White. Present. Chairman Holder. Present. Seeing there are three present, uh, all are attending. The meeting can begin. First item on the agenda is approval of the minutes from the meeting on April 17th. Uh, has everyone had a chance to read them and do we have a motion to approve? I read them and I would make a motion that we approve our meeting minutes from April 17th. I would second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the minutes from the meeting of April 17th. Could we have a uh, call for the vote, please? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, any opposed? Three approved, no opposed. The minutes are approved from the meeting of April 17th. Highway Department claims. Mike, do you have anything you would like to say? Uh, just that we're still uh, cleaning dishes, our road crew is, and we plan to start mowing probably in the middle of May. That's my only normal start. So could, could everybody hear that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank wow. you. All right. <clears throat> Next on the agenda is the Highway Department claims. Uh, we have a motion to approve. I would so move. move. Okay. okay. Mark second. Uh, Ron seconded. Any further discussion on the Highway Department claims? Uh, I discussed this with Mike. I just wanted to point out that there's a claim for concrete from Rogers Ready Mix that uh, they repaired a railroad crossing in Percy with some concrete um, that needed to be done there. So that's the only thing extra that I saw on there, so. Thank you, Ron. Any further discussion? Hearing none, call for the vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Highway Department, Highway Department claims are approved. Next on the agenda is the uh, general assistance. General assistance for the period was $400. There were no expenses for the period. Do we have a motion to approve general assistance? So moved. Second. second. We have a motion and a second to approve general assistance. Any further discussion? Hearing none, call for the vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Three approved. Any opposed? No one is opposed. General assistance claims are approved. Next on the agenda is Care Center. Uh, Michelle, are you there, please? Good morning. Good morning. A short report, please. We have 50 um, residents with 10 Medicare. I have also set up with CTS if uh, family members want to call the facility, there's going to be a recording before our um, a, a staff that's going to give an update daily on the COVID and the, what's going on in our facility as far as that goes. Thank you very much, Michelle. Michelle. Can, Michelle, can you give us a short update on what you're doing with the COVID? We're, we still, we have one resident in the facility. Um, everybody else, we have nobody showing any signs and symptoms of anything. We're still wearing our masks. Um, residents are still having meals in their rooms. And family members are still welcome to come to the back door or um, the uh, windows if they're on the bottom floor to see their loved ones. Anything else? <coughs> Hearing none, no. do we have a motion? I'm sorry. Do we have a motion to approve the care center claims? So moved. Second. 
Ron White moves. Mark Keene is seconded. Any further discussion? Please join the meeting. Hearing no further discussion, call for the vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? With none opposed, three in favor, care center claims are approved. Next on the item on the agenda is the health department. Uh, Angela, are you there, please? Uh, yes, sir, I'm here. So we have a short report. Um, we're still working with COVID-19 in our county. We have 160 confirmed cases. Uh, we have 104 that are active. Four individuals are recovering in a hospital. 55 individuals have been released to normal activity. As of this morning, we have 550 negative. Um, Costa Mary Lee Corporation, as you know, they did have uh, numerous cases in their plant. The leadership of Gilster Mary Lee did decide to shutter their Stillville Cake Mix plant as of 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. They're also going to go ahead and shut down the pasta plant in Stillville and going to do some extensive disinfecting and cleaning. The Stillville Cake plant will stay down for two weeks. The individuals that work there will be quarantined for a period of two weeks. They did uh, start to reduce their staff size on Tuesday, going down to 35 people per shift. And um, they will shutter all the way tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. All three hospitals, Chester Memorial, Sparta Community, and Redbud Regional have set up screening and testing sites at each Gilster plant that is still operational. They are screening every individual that comes into the building and departs and swabbing on site. And that's where we have seen a spike in our numbers because there were multiple individuals that were coming to work with signs and symptoms and who were positive, and now why we have an outbreak in those plants. We are now I, uh, keeping an eye on the Chester Shred plant, and uh, State's Attorney Walker and I have been in contact with the Gilster Mary Lee leadership almost daily to try to keep the, the spread from from getting larger. I now have three Spanish-speaking uh, translators here to assist with communication to some of the employees and five full-time staff members that are working just to uh, get this spread under control. Okay, Angela, could you uh, share, I was talking with Shane Watson from the Redbud Hospital the other day and he sent me the new test regulations um, that talk about who can get tested, because it's still not a totally open testing from what no. he was saying, but you also totally don't need, if you, if you meet the qualifications, you don't need your doctor's approval, he said. That's correct. But it has to be, you have COVID-19 symptoms um, and are a risk factor if you're in contact with some, uh, someone that's confirmed to have COVID-19, you have a compromised immune system or any serious chronic medical condition, anybody who works in a healthcare facility, anybody who works in a congregate setting, anybody who works in a correctional facility, jail, prison, first responders, paramedics, emergency medical technicians, any law enforcement, uh, firefighters, anybody who works in a grocery store, pharmacies, anybody that is truly, that is deemed essential and that you have a high risk for exposure, you can be tested. We are not denying testing. We are actually trying to get more tested for all three of the hospitals. And where can people go to get that test? The hospitals. You have to okay. call. Any of the hospitals. Call first. You have to call first. We would prefer you not show up. Do not show up in an emergency room. Do not show up on the doorsteps of these facilities. We need to know if you are showing any signs or symptoms or have a possible exposure so that they can prepare themselves to get the proper PPE on so that they are protected before we have a potential individual who walks through there. They will give you instructions on what to do and where to go to be tested. So call, call the facilities first. Yeah, we, and you can call your healthcare provider first as well and discuss your status, but People can now, we, we've opened up the testing for people. Thank you. Angela, this is okay. this, Mark, I have a question. Sure. 
Okay. Um, a couple of questions, actually. Um, unfortunately, we had the death of Don Welge. Have we had any other citizens succumb to the virus? And uh, how is your staff working with families who had a, uh, a member who tested positive? We have to reach out to anybody who's positive, and they are instructed to give us a list of close contacts. Anybody who is listed as a close contact is quarantined for 14 days. We've only had one official report of a death in Randolph County. Um, individuals who are close contacts are quarantined for that 14-day period and they are not allowed to come off. We are asking them to monitor their signs and symptoms. If they do have any signs and symptoms, to please call their healthcare provider. More than likely, if they're in the same household and they're a household contact, they have a high risk of becoming positive. How often are you contacting those individuals who test positive? Daily. Okay. It is a huge, huge undertaking for my staff. I understand. That's why we had to ask um, additional interpreters to join our staff because we have a multitude of the active cases are non-English speaking. Okay. That's all I had to uh, uh, just many of these individuals live in the same household, ride to work together, and so that's how we've had such a large spread. And then there's multiple individuals that work under the same roof in these plants, and this virus spreads. One person's positive, you can expect to have five more. And since today is the the beginning of some new regulations. Can you just hit on those, Angela, please? I, I really can't discuss much about that. Um, I'm, I'm just fearful of what's going to happen if we open up um, these businesses because of the number of cases that we already have. I'm, I'm very fearful of what's going to happen here in Randolph County. Well, as far as people wearing masks in grocery stores and all that, that's highly recommended. Is that correct? Correct. People should be wearing and, a mask already. Right. I just wanted to reinforce that. Thank you. Mike Holscher, are you on? No one from emergency management? Cindy Wagner, I believe you were there. Yes, I am. Um, uh, just just like briefly. Nine Sure, just a few. Right. Um, on a local level, we we've received notice that the new phone system install will begin soon. So therefore, after that point, we'll be able to move on the recorder installations, the new recorders at Randolph County Sheriff's Department and Florida Police Department. We also received our approval of the modification to the Randolph County system. So that's um, really good news. That was a lot of work. Um, so that would take us from frontier to in digital um, as our core service provider. Um, from an indigenous uh, next generation equipment install standpoint, uh, between themselves and AT&T, they've pushed back the installation 60 days um, at this time due to COVID becoming, you know, a top priority. Uh, we've now been given July as a target date for our NG installation. Um, and we're working on our continuing of operation plan with the state and island director's office as well. And I just wanted to mention, Ronnie, you had asked at the beginning of the call about the call totals. So from February to March, um, our calls were up just 25, up 25 calls. Um, February to April, we've had 38, around 38 less calls. Um, and that, you know, is probably due to less travel. And then the education about notifications if you um, have COVID, the steps to take uh, to ensure, you know, through the hospitals or the health department. 
Um, and that's really about all I've got. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Okay, the next item on the agenda is the health department claims. Would we need a motion to approve the health department claims, please? I'll make that motion. I'll second. We have a motion from Ron White, second from Mark Keenan. Any further discussion? Hearing none, call for the vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Three are in favor. Any opposed? None are opposed. Health department claims are approved. Next item on the agenda is the courthouse claims. Everyone had a chance to review, and do we have a motion to approve? I so move. Oh, second. I have a motion from Mina, second from Ron White. Any further discussion? Hearing none, call for the vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Three are in favor, none are opposed. <clears throat> the regular courthouse claims are approved. There are no appointments for this morning. Public comment. Does anyone have any public comment out there? Hearing none. I, I did have one thing. I was oh, just please. waiting to see if anybody else had anything. Uh, this is something different than what we've been hearing about, but we have heard about it some, and people should be getting their census um, mailings. Please, everyone, if everyone could fill out their census and send it in. Each one of those people that gets sent in, that's money to help serve the people of Randolph County. So we really appreciate whatever anybody can do to get census filled out. Um, we'd like to get those numbers in as accurately as possible. So thank you. Thank you very much, Ron. Anyone else? Uh, this is Susan Harbach. I just wanted to say thank you for this opportunity to listen. Oh, that's quite all right. You're more than welcome. Thank you for listening, Susan. Yes. Anyone else? The next item on the agenda under new business is health department property purchase. Uh, Mr. Walker, would you care to say a few things, please? Yeah, well, I have a uh, proposed ordinance that uh, I had previously provided to the three commissioners. Um, it uh, has to do with a, right next to the health department, uh, there was some dispute about a property line. Uh, it would be, I guess, on the east side of the property heading towards Steelville. Uh, there is a dilapidated building, for lack of a better word, that sits right on the line. Uh, there really is no setback. I mean, it literally is within feet of the current health department structure. Uh, there was some dispute as to where the line actually was. As a result of that, uh, we did obtain a survey from JT Blankenship. Uh, they did ascertain where the property line was. Uh, and it basically runs right through about a one-foot area where the building is. So the building is not on the county property, but it, there, you can't even walk through there. It's how tight it is. Uh, there was some discussion about possibly acquiring title uh, to part of that property to create a 10-foot setback, uh, which would, of course, require that building to be uh, tore down. I reached out to that landowner. Uh, he got bids as to what it would cost for him to build a new shed, and that is what uh, the proposed purchase price would be for this uh, uh, strip of property, uh, which would clean up A, where the line is at, and then B, get rid of, uh, of the building. Um, if the building uh, was not torn down uh, within uh, nine months, it originally the contract had requested that he do so within six months. Uh, however, uh, he's a little concerned uh, that if things get delayed because of the current situation that we're dealing with with COVID-19, uh, that he would request that a nine-month period of time. Uh, if indeed this does not occur, uh, I put a liquidated damage clause in there, which indicates that we agree what the damage would be, is that he'd have to write us a check back for 10 grand uh, if he didn't tear down the building within uh, nine months. So I have a proposed ordinance which would uh, authorize Chairman Holder to enter into the contract and then sign any appropriate paperwork. Uh, we can either approve it or if we want to uh, table it for a meeting to get time for everybody to digest it, it makes no difference to me. Uh, but from my standpoint, we are ready to go. Okay, and just to be clear, as, as Jeremy's talking about the building to be torn down, it's not the health department building. It's, Correct. It's basically a, 
uh, dilapidated lean-to that's on the side of the health department building. And uh, just to be clear, the, the property line, once we had it surveyed, part of the health department building is it's real close. Is is almost on the, the neighbor's property, so yeah. that's how close it is. Within a foot. Within a foot of being on the neighbor's property. So that's what we're trying to do is get a proper easement and uh, get this building, this dilapidated building, taken down. Agree with everything Ronnie said. Okay. This is something. This is something that's been under consideration for the health department for several years. It has finally come to the point where we do have such agreement. Uh, by the way, I don't believe. Uh, Mr. Walker mentioned it, but the purchase price is $17,000, uh, and I think we're ready to move forward with it. Uh, if uh, Mark, do you have any questions? No, no, I'm uh, totally in agreement for this. It's going to clean up that property. It's something that, as you said, we wanted to have for quite a while. So I would make a motion to move ahead. I would second that motion. Okay, we have a motion and a second to adopt the ordinance authorizing the purchase of real estate. Uh, we probably should have roll call vote on this. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, uh, roll call vote, please. Commissioner Keno? A. Commissioner White? A. Chairman Holder? A. With three A's and no nays, uh, the ordinance is adopted for the purchase of this piece of property. Uh, press, Mary or Dan, do you have any questions? No. Would it be possible to get a copy of the proposal sent to us? I will. I emailed it to our clerk this morning, and I will email uh, the County Journal and the North County News Thank as soon you. as I get back upstairs. As long as I remember. If you don't get it, remind me. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, sure thing. Next item on the agenda, a resolution for Human Service Center lease. Mr. Walker again. Yeah, and this is something that, and I apologize to uh, Dr. Kina, he has not seen this, but we did talk uh, uh, about the situation. Uh, just so Mr. Kina knows what we're looking at here is, is that it's literally uh, a two-sentence resolution uh, that indicates that the current, we had entered into a lease agreement with the Human Service Center a few meetings back before all heck broke loose. Um, and part of that agreement was is that there was going to be some modifications to the current health department building. Uh, the Human Service Center is going to move into one half of the health department building. We had agreed on a rental price. We had agreed on some renovations to be completed. However, just like about everything else in our lives, uh, it has got put on the back burner. Uh, and uh, we have not been able to get to those renovations. Uh, the sheriff is in the building. I think he spoke with uh, Shay Hari, who's uh, the head of the Human Service Center. I don't know her exact title, uh, but we are working on them. Uh, the Human Service Center's concern was that they were supposed to start paying us rent and move in July 1, and it does not look like we're going to be able to accomplish that goal. Uh, so what this resolution would do is, is abate uh, rent uh, for the months of July and or August, and until the renovations can be completed. And we're hopeful we can get it done before then, uh, but this would just give the uh, Human Service Center some comfort to know that we're not going to be asking or demanding a rent of them uh, in the amount of, uh, that we had agreed upon whenever they can't take possession of the building. Uh, and again, this is something that we would not have to take formal action on this moment, uh, because I know I'm hitting Dr. Keena cold, uh, but again, I, we had talked about this, but he has not seen the actual resolution. But uh, if you wanted to proceed, that's where we're at, and I'm open to any questions. Jeremy, I have no issues. It makes good sense. Let's move ahead. Uh, I'll uh, read the resolution. It'll be real quick. It'll be resolution number 2020-11, resolution authorizing abatement of lease with the Human Service Center, whereas the County of Randolph is has, yeah, has, <laughs> has entered into a lease with the Human Service Center for rental of certain commercial property commonly known as 2515 State Street, Chester, Illinois, whereas it was to commence July 1st, 2020, whereas the renovations proposed by the Human Service Center to the subject property have been delayed due to COVID-19 outbreak. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the County of Randolph, Illinois, as follows. A, 
the rental agreement shall be abated for the months of July and or August and until the renovations can be completed to the current health department building. After a full and complete discussion thereof, the chairman directed the secretary to call for a vote on the motion to adopt the resolution. So I would make a motion to adopt resolution 2020 for the abatement of the lease for the Human Service Center. Second that motion. Okay, we have a motion and a second to adopt resolution 2020-11. Any further discussion? Hearing none, a roll call vote, please. Commissioner White. A. Commissioner Tina. A. A. Chairman Holder. A. There being three A's and no nays, the resolution is hereby adopted. Uh, Mary, Dan, any questions on the resolution? No, I'm, nope. I'm good. Okay, pretty self-explanatory. Okay, uh, there is no executive session, so the next meeting will be May 15, 2020 at 9 a.m. It will be conducted in the same order as this one uh, is. And uh, is there being anything else to bring before the board, Dr. Keena? <clears throat> yes, uh, just a, a quick comment. Uh, we have a hearing right after the meeting on the 15th about a roof project uh, for the rotunda. Thank you very much. It's, that is appreciated. Anything else, Mr. White? And what that refers to is the roof on the rotunda on the courthouse um, to get that replaced. It's uh, basically aging out, and we have an opportunity to get a grant to help with that. So that's what we're looking at. Okay. Anything else? Do we have a motion to recess until May 15, 2020 at 9 a.m.? I would make motion to recess until May 15. I will second that. We have a motion to second to recess. Any further discussion? Hearing none, call for the vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? We stand in recess until May 15, 2020 at 9 a.m. via conference call the same as today. Thank you everyone for joining us today. Have a great day.